Halftime in Sacktown. It is 58 to 53. Dallas, it is the Luka Doncic show. He was questionable leading up to the game with a sore Achilles, but it doesn't look like he has anything wrong with him. He had 26 in the first half, Rhino. Yeah, that Achilles looks just fine, Napes. He's getting whatever he wants. And more importantly, he's creating space and he doesn't need much space to be special. Yeah, uh, he is special. And, you know, you look at Sacramento. I said this yesterday and I'm going to say it again. I don't think the Kings win this game unless Malik Monk is Malik Monk. And in the first half, Monk did nothing. I mean, he can't put the ball in the ocean. He missed six of seven. He played 13 minutes. If that continues in the second half, I don't see Sacramento winning this game. If Monk does come alive, I think the Kings will win this game. Yeah, I'm with you, Grant. And I think there's reason to believe it will come around because Malik was attacking the rim in the first half. It wasn't bad shot selection. I mm-hmm. think those will end up falling, but the points are going to have to come from somewhere. King's not getting a ton from the bench right now. In fact, only getting nine. Dallas has yeah. 12. Now, getting nine uh, is not enough. And, you know, so I look at the uh, box score. Of course, it's been Luca. I think the other aspect for Dallas is they're going to need someone else other than Luka. And it was a quiet first half for Kyrie because, I mean, Luka was doing all the damage. But you got to be concerned about Kyrie Irving, who only had six points. Oh, no doubt. He doesn't need much to get going. And that's why the Kings need to get more up-tempo. They've let Dallas control the pace. The Kings only had, I believe, one steal. There in the first half, or just a couple, if it was anything more than that. And the Kings usually have more steals, Grant. And you look at the transition game, which the Kings have won the last two games. They're down 6-0 tonight at halftime. Yeah, and and again, I hate to keep on talking about the schedule. I, I'm just wondering if the schedule factors into any of that. I mean, at the third game in four nights with the cross-country sure. travel. But, you know, it could be. But, 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 you know, this game is right there. I mean, it's a five-point game, which is nothing in the NBA. Um Dallas has been shooting the three well in this first half, which is, uh, you know, something that we need to point out. They made, uh, what, 10 of 18. That's a very high percentage. That's good. That's, Those, that's very good. Grant, it's the only stat I looked at coming into the game. Over their last nine, they've shot 32.4%. Yep. Look what they're doing tonight. It can't continue. And again, that's where the space comes into play. The Mavs have been picking up De'Aaron Fox full court a lot of the game. Yep. If I'm Mike Brown, I'm throwing everybody at Luka and anybody else to create a different style. Ryan, only six free throw attempts for Sacramento in that first half. Work. Yep, yep, not going to work. Another key to the Kings' success. They were getting to the line more. Now, they are playing more physical, Grant, and the lefts, refs are letting them play, yet De'Aaron Fox, terrible technical at that point. Awful. Terrible. And Luka, fortunately, missed a free throw. Uh, eight and 24 on the chat line when trailing at the half, this one is over. Well, you might be right about eight and 24 just because. So, so did you say that in the eight games that they won when they were trailing at the half, the game's not over. No, stop far already. from. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying the Kings are going to win the game, but it's definitely not over. I I'm, there's a couple of things that make me nervous in this game. And that is again, the, 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 the attrition part of it, yeah. but I'm expecting Kyrie Irving to have a big second half. I that makes me a little bit nervous, uh, and I'm not crazy with what I'm seeing overall from Sacramento. I think it was a good half, but you made some very good, very good points there. The things that you just mentioned are going to have to improve here in quarters three and four, Ryan. Yeah, and the Kings have shown they can turn that around, but it comes sure. down to the third quarter, Napes. What team are we going to see when the ball gets rolled out there? Yeah, well, again, I think it's Malik Monk. I hate to put all the pressure on Monk, but I don't think you win this game without Malik Monk. And I said that 24 hours ago, and I'm sticking to that. You know, I think when you look at Dallas and their bench, uh, Hardaway does a lot for this team, you know, both offensively and defensively. He's a really good role player for them. He's a great role player, and he can shoot that three ball well. And and so that's why it's really important to contest those threes, make the role players beat you. Don't just give them open shots. Um, But I think the Kings, if they don't foul, they fouled too much, Grant. And I know Dallas fouled a little bit too, but I think that's the key with the two bench units. Just you got to get a little bit more up-tempo with the Kings. Three fouls on Fox in that first half. Kings are fortunate that Dallas did not shoot the ball well from the line. They were only 6 of 10 from the line in that first half, and yet they still lead 58-53. Yeah, and we're talking about worrying about Kyrie. I know we've made that point a couple times. Can yeah. Monk get the scoring up? But what about Keegan Murray? He's four or five, two from two from beyond the arc. 
he's been rolling a pretty good line. Um, not or he's been rolling a really good line the last three games. And if you're the Kings, run some DHO with him, get him some space because he was hot early to start the game. Yeah. Also, you know, Keon Ellis in the first couple of yes. minutes had seven points and they didn't even score, you know, the Great rest point. of the half. I think with I think in the first four minutes, he had seven points and he played 17 minutes in the first half and still has seven points. And the reason why I bring this up is when your bench is not producing, which, again, I don't know if that's going to happen in the second half, but I can only go by what I saw when the bench is not producing. It's very, it's really hard when your yeah. frontline players like Harrison Barnes plays 20 minutes and only has three points, right? And uh, Ellis 100%. plays 17 minutes and only has seven points. Now, I kind of expect that from Ellis. I, I need more from Harrison Barnes, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. And Harrison had wide open looks at times in that first half, Grant. So yeah. I think, again, there's another reason to be optimistic if you're Sacramento. You just have to get those guys the right looks. I'm I'm not as optimistic, and again, I, I hate to keep on harping on this, I but I'm looking it. at missed open shots from the perimeter, and I, I'm sorry to keep on talking about attrition, but I think in this game, that's what I'm seeing. Can that change in the second half? It's going to have to change, or else the Kings won't win this game. The, the Kings only down five right now, so, I mean, it's a very manageable game, but they're, you're going to need somebody other than the name of De'Aaron Fox or DeMontis Sabonis in the second half. A hundred percent. And Fox, you already mentioned the three fouls, which makes the bench all that more important. Yes. I'm I'm looking for a Kessler Edwards sighting at this point. I think those Chris Duarte minutes, I think those can be up for grabs. And if you need to chase change a pace on Luca, look at Kessler. I think that might be a good option. Yeah, I, I we'll keep our eye on that. It's a very good point. Uh we were hoping to have Jerry with us, but maybe he's having a technical issue. Yeah, I got I got a cup. He says no link. I sent the link to him. I always send the link. Tell you what, Grant, why don't you update everybody on what else happened okay. in the NBA, and I'll get Jerry on here. Real quick. Okay, uh, we'll do that. Let you know. New Orleans lost. They had, they had a lead in the fourth against Oklahoma City, and they ended up losing that game one nineteen to one twelve. So keep that in mind as you watch this game. You know, we keep on talking about six. You know, if the Pelicans were to fall a little bit, maybe fifth is obtainable, although I, I still think that is unlikely. What a wild game in Milwaukee in double overtime. All right. The Lakers win on the road 128 to 124 and the Warriors win. And those are big wins for those teams because they've got the Rockets breathing up their neck. All right, 113 to 92, the Warriors beat Miami. Jimmy Butler did not play in that game uh, because of an illness. But those are big wins for the Warriors and the Lakers because they are getting uh, pursued by the red hot Houston Rockets. The Rockets are playing very well, and they now sit back and watch the Warriors and the Lakers both win. Uh, the Rockets have won nine games in a row, and so they are really trying to hunt down the Warriors and the Lakers. But both those teams get road wins. Again, the Warriors getting a break without Jimmy Butler playing, and the Lakers, i got to give the Lakers credit. That's a hell of yeah. a win in Milwaukee in double overtime. Yeah, they didn't take their first lead until late in that one. I think it was actually near overtime, so credit to them. And what you said about Houston, that's why if you're Sacramento, why you do not want to be in the play yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. And then the winner of tonight's game, okay, will only be one game back in the loss column of fifth place New Orleans. So, you know, keep that in mind. How, you know, we keep on talking about 6 6 6. I thought New Orleans played very well tonight. They were without Brandon Ingram and they, they still played very well against a, a really good team. I'm not, I'm not really looking at the fifth spot right now, but I'm just no. saying there's a lot of basketball left and anything can happen. Yeah, there is. We saw some changes late in the season uh, last year in the West, but uh, the Clippers, that's the one. I know you mentioned them earlier. Keep an eye on what happens there. All right. So we normally talk about as the Aaron Fox goes, goes to Sacramento Kings. Is he going to be the guy, though, that we're going to be talking about on the post game if the Kings win this game? Oh, it's a great question, Grant. I don't think he is. I think it's going to have to be him and somebody else. And I don't think it's going to be a huge game from De'Aaron. I, I think it's got to be one of the guys you mentioned, Keegan, Harrison, Malik Monk. Can somebody yeah. else get going? I think it's Malik Monk. Uh, I think he's the guy. I mean, he's been that guy all year. Okay. When you need that lift coming off the bench, Rhino, when your starters maybe are struggling a little bit. And it's not like Fox struggled. I mean, he had 14 points. So right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to paint the wrong picture there, but 
you're going to need in this game, uh, and you talked about this. You've been talking about this the last couple of days. Dallas is in a real good rhythm right now. They're mm-hmm. playing very well. I mean, they're they're yeah. what it, they're they're their last three weeks. Their their play has been outstanding. They've won eight of nine. They're humming and they're doing no. it kind of that old fashioned way. You talk about how the refs are letting the guys play. Dallas has been playing physical with Lively and Gafford inside. So that's something Grant Gafford got in foul trouble. So is that going to be a factor in the second half? Does that change? What do you think happens to Fox? What do you think happens? What do you, how do you think Coach Brown is going to handle this if Fox picks up his fourth foul in the first three or four minutes of the third quarter? You keep him in. You, you got to roll the dice at this point. You're probably committed. I agree. You, you you go for the game. He fouls out. You live for the next game. You let this one go. I agree. I I, I was going to say the exact same thing. You can't be worrying about tomorrow just yet. You 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 do what you have to do uh, with your main players. And you know, again, very rarely in this league do you see a guard foul out. Very rarely. Very rarely. And he's been getting a lot of latitude. I actually think it's more likely he will get two T's than foul out. Yeah. All right, we do have Jerry Reynolds for a couple of minutes. Jerry, it's good to have you with us. Uh, overall impressions on that first half? Well, the great ball game. I mean, it's just Luka Doncic being uh, the best thing on the floor by, by quite a bit. And uh, if they can slow him down a little bit, they're going to have a chance to win. I thought the uh, Kings were sloppy with the basketball. That's uh, the real negative. I mean, yep. they, they really had three or four just uh, unforced turnovers for no reason, and they can't afford that. But uh, – you know, it, it's a game there for the taking, but but uh, Luca, you know, you oh you, know, you know, if you hold him to twelve points in the second half, you're going yeah. to have a great chance to win. But easy to say, hard to do. Jerry, I said yesterday uh, to Ryan, may have been on the post game show or halftime, but I didn't think the Kings would win this game unless they got a typical Malik Monk game, and we didn't get that in the first half. He missed six of seven shots, and if that continues, I I don't like the Kings' chances in the second half. They're going to really need him. I agree. I mean, I think Monk is a real key here. And so second half, he's got to become the, the Monkster again because uh, he really just looks like he's trying to force everything, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, basically kind of over dribbling a little bit, trying to force force his, uh, his offense. And, you know, he's good enough. He doesn't have to do that. But, but I couldn't agree more. I, I think Malik Monk is going to be the key in the second half for the Kings. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Jerry. And conversely, I know you guys touched on Luca a second ago. If you're drawing up the defense for the second half, what are you throwing at Luca? Well, I, I'd certainly run another guy at him. The problem with that is uh, he he's such a good passer. You know, I mean, he can look over the top of the double teams and he can split it. You know, I mean, it's, you're not going to do anything to him that he hadn't seen about 4,500 times. Mm. And, and that's the problem. And then he's got you know, with Kyrie, it's pretty hard to do that because he's individually in his own way can break defenses down. So I I would like to, the only thing I'd say is I might want to try a smaller player on him. I mean, Keegan Murray is, is doing as, he, as good as he can do, but he isn't bothering him at all. I think a smaller, quicker guy like Keon Ellis might actually be more effective. And, and so to me, it's throw different guys at him more than than just trying to confuse him with double teams because basically I watched him enough. Uh, double teams don't confuse him. He confuses them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get some uh, scores here. I, I have the uh, Mavs winning this game, 114 to 105. Uh, I, 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 again, I'm going to keep on harping on this. I think we're going to really start seeing attrition factor in. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've seen the Kings uh, sloppy with the ball. I think it's another reason why we've seen a lot of guys miss open shots. I just think that is going to be a factor. I'm very well aware that the Mavs played last night too, but three and four with the cross country trip, I think is going to bite the Kings in the second half. And so I I don't think they're going to win tonight. I'm taking the Mavs guys. Well, I'm going to pick the Kings 108 to 107 and mainly partly due to what you say attrition on on Luca he played 41 minutes last night and he was questionable to go and you can see he's hobbling a little bit yep. so uh you know basically I'm counting on that taking effect in the second half and that that may be enough yeah grant I my gut tells me what you said but Jerry I'm going with you I think the Kings find a way to pull this one out I I think they've turned a little bit of a corner and I think they do throw multiple guys at Luca 
I'm going to say Kings 109, Dallas 108. And, and if they do, and, they and do, the monster, ahead, Jerry. And the monster, Grant, the monster's going to come through, buddy. Got to have faith yeah, in the monster. You know what? And I'm not saying he won't, but we we haven't even talked about Kyrie Irving. Okay, no. so you 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 all understand that if you are able to contain Luca, then you now have to turn your attention over to Kyrie Irving, who kind of took a back seat in that first half to Luca. You know, Kyrie doesn't take a back seat when he doesn't have to. So just keep that in mind as well. Oh, you're you're right. I mean, Kyrie can go for twenty in the second half. He's yep. very capable with his left but, hand. Uh, yeah, <laughs> left but I, I think I think we're all in for a hell of a second yeah. half. I do think this is going to be a good half. I'm a little worried though, you know, about some of the things we've talked about with the Kings. Their bench, whether it's Monk or someone else, the bench is going to have to contribute here. I think you're you're going to need something from the bench in this second half. Oh, without a doubt. And, I mean, that's the difference with this Mavericks team now since the break, getting Gafford and P.J. Washington. They're a, a much deeper, more talented team. Yeah. Jerry, great having you on. Uh, and tomorrow we're good at 4 o'clock, yes? We are good at 4 o'clock, buddy. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you, Jerry. Appreciate it, See Ryan. You guys. Uh, we'll have you uh, at – the end of the game in about an hour and uh, it should be a heck of a second half. So everyone else enjoy it. Third quarter is beginning Kings and Mavs join us right after the game here on, if you don't like that, bye-bye.